Hey guys, welcome to Bumpy TV. Guys, today we're checking out this amazing video. Like, I told you, this is amazing. Guys, today we're checking out Australian man tells his mom he became a Muslim. I just want to hear the reaction of his mom. Guys, let's get straight into this. We've done a bit of digging up, Tom, um, while you weren't here. Far up. And I actually came across a video. Ten I wasn't years there. I wasn't ago. there. Ten, wasn't you me. look very different to Barakallah. Mashallah, this fitness enthusiast has really helped mashallah you looked a bit different i'm guessing you were about 23 in this video that i'm going to show okay, okay. you're going to find out go. let's play the video tom finch this is your life if these people were fasting i had to fast as well alhamdulillah i fasted the last week of ramadan it was a start after telling my mother that i was going to be a, that i was going to be a muslim she didn't look at me for almost a week before speaking with her I was happy that I'd found my religion after the prayer research and thought I'd invested to reach this decision. After seeing how upset my mother was, I began to doubt whether I was making the right decision. This was the woman who had carried me in her womb for nine months and cared for me as a child and had given me everything I ever needed. As you'd guess, by this stage, I was pretty upset. After speaking with a friend, I was back on track after establishing that the reasoning behind making this change is, is for me. Pleasing my parents is important, but pleasing my creator was of ultimate importance. Wow. Wow. Allah Akbar. SubhanAllah. Take us back to that moment. What was it like? The first year. The first year coming to your parents and just saying, look, you know, this is what I've chosen. I guess what gets me a bit emotional is I think the dynamic between me and my mother. Um, my mother is is an amazing woman. Uh, she's the most important person in my life, and uh, and she didn't receive the news um, particularly well. Um, I think she I think in hindsight she she maybe understands it a bit better now. Um, along with probably a few other people but um it was very difficult for her um in particular the first you know the first few years i think i think it actually took it probably took about three years for us to um pull together a a relationship which was um somewhat represented representative of what it used to be like my mother was like carry any excuse for a party finch like any 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 Friday night, like she would she would be inviting my friends over for for a party or a barbecue or a get together. I wouldn't even know about wow. it. I said, "Oh, Finchy, by the way, we're coming to house Friday." I'm like, wow. "Okay, whatever, you know, I'll see you there." Type of thing. So she's she's a machine. Um, yes. What do you think work? What do you think you know didn't go to your advantage? I'll tell you what did work. Uh, grandkids. So when grandkids came, oh, wow. that changed the game. It, <laughs> the it's, it's, you know, it softened the hearts. What or didn't work yeah, well? Yeah. What didn't work well? I think probably not sharing more sooner with my mother. I think, I think you know, bringing someone along the journey. You know, if someone's important, if someone is really important to you, and 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 you and you really want to make like address a serious problem that you have in your life, whether you know whether it's a mental health issue or it's a it's a an iman or a faith issue or a health issue or whatever it is like if, if you're going to make a big change in your life i think the wise approach is to you need a support team around you and you need to bring people on the journey if you enjoyed this video and everything else that one path does and would like to see us produce more content then please support us go to www.onepathnetwork.com you can support us from as little as one dollar a day much love and appreciation and may allah bless you all Guys, make sure you support them in the other channel, guys. But guys, this was really, really emotional. And I can say, if I tell my mom I want to become a Muslim, she'll kill me. But like, let's go back. Like, I I really understand why he cried. And but most times, like, you can't just bring out that kind of news. Like, I would say the world world, like, not even Christians or even pagans, they feel Muslim is kind of sin. I, I feel like they feel the religion is a sin. So, someone say it's come back into Christianity. Like, I don't know how 
people might have painted, but they feel like they are going to the wrong path. Like you are going straight to the wrong path. But like I believe is a religion. I won't say it's a true religion because I am Christian and I believe Christian is a true religion because I believe Jesus died first because there's proof to that. And chill, someone said something in my comment session yesterday. Because I asked this question. Jesus said his story is gonna be that of Jonah and she's gonna be in the heart of the earth for two days. And the person said, Jesus, but Jonah didn't die. That got me puzzled. And I went back and like reflect on what I said. Jonah was in the Jonah was in the sea monster on the fish mouth or stomach for three days. And Jesus went to the heart of the earth. I won't say if one to use that logic. I believe the definition of death is you dying, like is you losing consciousness and not regaining consciousness. Jesus said he's going to go to the heart of the earth. So he went to another realm or another world or another anything you want to be called. Yes, he left this earth and I, I will say, why people don't believe he died because he didn't die. He went out from the earth for three days and three nights and came back. So we won't say Jesus died because he didn't die. He's still alive and he has sent to hell. So with that logic, we can see Jesus died and resurrected. Because for the fact he went to the heart of the earth means he died and he came back to life. So you can say he didn't die. But if we'll be honest, he went and came back, so he didn't die per se because he's alive. He once died and resurrected. Like Lazarus. Lazarus died and was brought back to life, then he died again. So guys, then just like tell me if this my logic isn't correct. Educate me in the conversation. I want to have this kind of conversation with you guys. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.